Now, using the technology created by the Google Maps team, we've prepared the most rigorous test known to man to find the world's best Pokemon master. That is a clip. Well, Larry Stenenbach from First Rule, explain to us, what was that clip from? Uh, well, uh, I didn't hear all of it. Oh. Uh, yeah, he but, only uh, heard the tail end of it. <laughs> so I'm assuming it was something to do with Pokemon Go. Yes. And Google. And Google. Well, I'll tell you, uh, you know, uh, we would have talked about Pokemon Go uh, last week, but I wasn't able to come on. So I wanted to really talk about it now that it's become an amazing hit. Okay, like, but that clip we just heard was from Google. That was from Google, believe 2014. it or not. 2014. Correct. I thought the game came out a week ago. It did, just a second ago. But you know what? It was actually really funny, and this is just going around in the geek world. Google made an April Fool's joke in, in 2014 that was about you know, taking your phone with an application on Google Maps and walking around the actual real world and finding Pokemon on Google Maps and capturing them. And this was kind of a ha-ha moment in, you know, 2014 at, uh, as an April Fool's joke. But obviously someone at Nintendo saw this and thought, you know, this is a great idea. And it turns out it was. All right. So uh, are you a Pokemon Go player? I I'll be honest. I'm of the right generation, but I never really got into the Pokemon, mm -hmm. uh, honestly. But I know lots of people that have, but I have installed it, don't worry, and played it a little bit just to make sure I knew what I was talking about. Okay, is the game addictive like Angry Birds or sure. Tetris? Or? Yeah, I mean, it, it's all about, uh, it has a little bit of a treasure element. Like, I have to walk around and find these random elements on the map. Right. Uh, and then, you know, once you find these Pokemon, uh, you have to capture them with a little game mechanic, and then you have to almost raise them, almost like pet simulators. And we've seen these sort of games in the past we have like pets and things like that and those tend to be very addictive for people uh and you have to pay to get certain things within the game you don't have to pay uh but paying of course is a way of kind of cheating or going faster let's say because really one of the interesting things about this is it's it's a geolocation based game meaning like they're hiding items and things in the real world so, like, if I if I want to go catch a Pokemon that's down at the mall, I literally have to walk to the mall or go to the mall <laughs> to get it. I can't sit at home and play it there. But you can buy it. You can buy you can it. Potentially or you potentially can... buy eggs and things like that that'll like hatch the eggs faster, so it'll help mm -hmm. you uh, with you know collecting Pokemon. But at some point in time, really, and what most people are doing. You actually have to get out of your house, which is something geeks like myself are not used to, and yeah, walk. but you but you're running into trees though. So I mean, is it safer to sit on your couch? Uh, you know, it, it can be. It can be, especially with the sun. You know, that causes cancer. All right, Larry, <laughs> Larry Senneback. Let me ask you a legitimate question. Sure. Here. Do you see this being a two week fad, mm. a three week fad, a month fad? Or like a five-year fad. I, I kind of think this is, um, it's not going to last forever, but I do think this is, is an upcoming trend in sort of games and applications mm -hmm. where we've got all this interesting data in the internet and, and now we have all these really interesting phones that can tell you exactly where you are in the real world and there's going to be this layering of internet data on top of real life. And we've talked about this before, it's called augmented reality where basically I can look through my phone and see something, or later on, if once I have Google Glasses or something right. where I can just see through, uh, you know, I think these sort of games are actually become more prevalent, and, and especially with, you know, this week alone, Pokemon Go actually has, has passed all other mobile games. It's the largest mobile game in the U.S. with over 21 million daily active users in the United States alone. Mm. So the success of this, if nothing else, is going to bring in the short term a whole bunch of copycats. So I imagine we're going to see a lot of similar games like this. But one thing I'll tell you is that there have been games like this in the past. Even Google had something called Ingress, which I played for a while, which is exactly the same game. Mm -hmm. You had to walk around, you had, you had teams, you had to capture like significant monuments and right. stuff and hold them for your team. So same thing as the Pokemon Go. But 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 no one knew about that. I mean, this Correct. is sort this is sort of permeated the other consciousness. It shows everybody. you the power of the brand of Pokemon. Apparently, right. uh, you know, that people really what want to get What about the safety, that. cyber safety issue of you know? I've been reading about using a personal info and well, all that really stuff. the biggest security issue we found is that now that people that normally aren't leaving their house are leaving their house and going out into the real world they're paying such close attention to their phones that uh there have been uh thieves essentially that have taken advantage of this <laughs> where well there's certain points in the real world you have to go to compete or like capture pokemon if there's it sounds like Donald everyone Trump. you see these groups congregating so thieves are actually using this to their advantage sadly so you know and saying it and taking advantage of they see people come to these poke stops so just make sure to be aware of your surroundings yes. and you know when you're out and about in the real world larry senebeck first rule we'll let you go so you can go uh, play pokemon go all right thanks, thanks for coming guys. in uh take some uh take some cold medicine too <laughs> 757